I'm joined here by Marco Carducci from Cavalry FC. Your season has been obviously a unique one. Yeah. I don't want to make you talk too much about that because you have so much already. Um, but for you to kind of have your season start the way it did with, with the illness and to come back, how important has it been for you to be back on the pitch and to you know, have football back for you? It's hard to put into words, to be honest. Um, yeah, even now looking back, I mean, it truly in the, in the grand scheme of things hasn't been that long and yet um, so much has happened from that point. I mean, I mean, in February when I received the diagnosis and um, obviously again, things moved so quickly mm. um, where you know, I got treated right away, I had my surgery right away and was already on the path of recovery pretty much instantly. But in that moment, there were a lot of questions. There was a lot of uncertainty and to be able to play, you know, I think it was six or seven weeks later, um, you know, and, and get back with the team and, and yeah. now play this full season and, and um, just be able to do what I love to do. It's, it's an incredible feeling. And at the end of the day, um, yeah, that, that perspective has been really important for me mm. to, to be able to go out there play the game I love at this high level and ultimately fight for championships. And uh, I'm just excited to be able to do it again. Yeah, I mean, to be able to come back quite quickly and to be at the top of your, of your game, you know, right away, it has to be, you know, gratifying to, to have this back, right? Of course, of course. I mean, I'd be remiss if I didn't, you know, uh, say that the amount of people and the support networks I had around me were, were incredible, starting from right at home with, you know, my girlfriend to my family to my friends. Um, to the club, you know, every single member, my teammates, the staff. Um, yeah, I mean, and even just the soccer community in general and, and the community in Calgary in general, the, the outpouring of support and everything was amazing. And it, uh, to this day, still gives me a little bit of a shiver just to think, you know, it was, it was really a special feeling to have all those people, um, you know, to help support me. And I think that was a major reason why I was able just to focus on my recovery, keep my head down, um, keep my, my head in the right space. and ultimately get back to, to again, playing and, and you know, playing well. Absolutely, and I'm, I'm sure that your, your teammates and coaches and fans are all super happy that you've been able to get back. We are all as well. Um, just to, to maybe put, put a bow on this, this conversation heading into the playoffs here, we've touched on it already, but what would it mean to you guys to win a championship here, to win a trophy? <laughs> Everything, I think. Uh, um, again, you know, we talk about having that taste, right? Being close, um, but not quite close enough. Um, it's made me and this team and this whole club hungrier than ever. And um, again, we've been clear that that's our goal and uh, to be able to get, a, to get that done and to be champions, well, uh, it'll be an amazing feeling. So that's, that's the focus we're on. We're gonna take it, take it one step at a time, but uh, you know, that is, uh, that's a feeling that I'm, hope, I'm hoping we get to experience pretty soon. I'm sure all the fans at Spruce Meadows are also hoping for that as well. For sure. Anyway, Marco Carducci, one of the top goalkeepers in the league and one of the top people in the CPL. I can't thank you enough. Thank you. Appreciate it.